Hey, how you doing? Kater here on a beautiful, beautiful day. What's going on with your lane? What's going on with your life? How you doing? How you feeling? So, uh, one of the questions that I got is, as a Christian businessman, how do I believe with the law of attraction? So, I'm just going to share my experience with it. Um, this is my own personal experience. You might have a different mindset when it comes to it. Um, so, when I started in business, I started reading books like Think and Grow Rich. My mentor invited me, you know, to read certain books to help me um, with my mindset. Because mindset is really, really powerful when it comes to really taking your business to the next level. So from there, I was also um, introduced to the law of attraction, reading books like The Secret and watching a movie. At first, it was really eye-opening to me. I never really gave it much thought um, after I actually went through um, going to the movie itself. But as I sat down and started thinking more in the law of attraction, and as I got into business longer and older and realized how things work and how money works and how business works, you know, I was able to kind of form my own mindset. Because before I was introduced to it, I didn't have a mindset. So I'm just going by what everybody else is saying, not much experience. So I just prayed about it and I just read it and it makes sense to me it made sense to business you have to believe see the things that you want believe into it and then it will appear in your life right this is the mindset with the law of attraction or uh, you can bend um, the will um, of god or the universe how it would say in the book to what your own will now me as i start getting older in business this is how i interpreted it right with the law of attraction what i realized is that for you to gain some type of results, the Bible said, right? Faith without work is dead. With using the law of attraction, I wake up in the morning saying, I'm blessed, I'm amazing, I'm great, I'm powerful, I could do amazing things, I will do amazing things. You know, I'm um, saying, you know, pronouncing those great outcome on yourself, right? Shifting your mind, it's not actually a bad thing. What I realized with it is, after you say these things, there must be some type of work being done. There must be some type of work. If we have goals, if you have dreams, right? If you have things that you wanna make happen, you know, you have the faith, you wake up, you pronounce it because when you speak things, saying well, we're speaking things into existence or when we speak things into existence, we're taking it from the spiritual realm to bring it into the physical realm. But in order for that to happen, there must be some work taking place. So instead of me sitting down every day saying i'm great i'm powerful i'm amazing money comes to me stuff like that i go and do the things that will create those feelings those emotions that i'm looking for right those emotions feeling wealthy feeling, feeling rich well you do these things that's gonna create those emotions if you want to be healthy well you gotta go work out you gotta go change your diet you gotta eat the right food so I go do these things now that creates those emotional um, feelings. So now you start, you start creating the results of these things that you see. Now, when it comes to money, I firmly believe in God, right? I don't believe that you, we can just bend God to our own will. Uh, matter of fact, on my journey, I had a, it was something in my mind. I had a really, I had to battle myself to see wealth and riches as blessing because to me i always ask myself well why some people that don't even know god right or don't even care to know or don't even think about that they seem to have some of them and not all of them sometimes we make the mistake and we see all oh, the people you know that are wealthy you know they're the bad people no not all of them there's some good people there's some great people there's some bad people that has wealth so to me wealth is not categorized in my mind as a blessing you know i had to literally process that i said to myself well there's plenty of people that don't know god at all why do they seem to have all the wealth in the world so what i realized blessing is really having god's favor right blessing is has having god's favor when everything you believe that everything will play out for the best and you believe you're in god's favor regardless of where you are but if you want to attain wealth i believe there's principles that you know that for you to obtain these things regardless of whoever apply those principles they're gonna obtain wealth regardless of whether they believe in god whether they don't believe in god if they want material things there's certain things that you do 
you get material things. Now, when you have God favor now, when you have God favor, everything that you do will actually play out in your benefit. Just like in the story of Joseph, you know, at a time Joseph wasn't the wealthiest man um, in, in Egypt. But there was a time he was in jail. There was a time his brother throw him in a dungeon and then they find him. So, but everything actually played out in his favor because he had God's favor in the end of the story. So being blessed, that's the big difference for me. Being blessed is that everything will actually play out in your favor, your business, everything will play out in your favor. You'll have God's favor. So whatever happens will turn out for the best for you, right? According to God's plan and God's will, because you cannot just bend his will just by saying things. I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna be wealthy, everything is gonna be great. Just by saying these things, you gotta be in his favor, all right? So that's a video for another topic, but, how does the law of attraction comes into play because everything comes from the mind right so if you put good thoughts in there because your actions for me to make this video i have to think about it turn on the camera and then start making videos right so everything spread out from the mind so in there you want to create good thoughts because if you want to have good results then I want to create good thoughts that can potentially create good results. So therefore, this is how I feel the law of attraction can actually work in your life is that is the law uh, of action, of at action. When one of my mentors said that is action, right? Is the law of action. If you take action, you create some type of results, right? But if you're just saying these things, in order for you to take the action, your thought has to be positive. So you can use that creating affirmation, creating positive thoughts so that you can take the right action in order for you to create the desired results that you want. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you use the law of attraction as a Christian business person? What is your thought on it and how do you use it in your life? Has it impacted your business? How has it impacted your life personally? And how do you feel about it? Anyway, that was your boy Cater. Be sure to follow, subscribe, get inside of our group. I'll see you guys later. Let's go.